Alrighty, so here we are once again back. We are currently on our way towards one of the four divine beasts. I am not entirely sure what to expect, but we are getting pretty close. So if you have a quick look like here, uh, right here on the map, I am currently located right over here. And I think this is where I will be able to meet the first of the beasts. Now, this is one of the four uh, beasts that I need to collect for the uh, main objective of the game. And that, of course, is to try and save Princess Zelda. At the very least, I think the beast should be able to help me out when it fi uh, when it comes to uh, fighting Calamity Ganon. I think is what his name is. Actually, there's still a lot of a lot of these dudes behind. I thought I killed them all, but there's still a couple remaining. Hey. Yo, Mr. Fierce! Thank you very much for the 22 month resub. Thank you. Loco, it feels great. First time I have time to tune in in a while, and you're playing one of my favorite games. Thank you, sir. Um, Alright, I think we should probably just continue using our bow and arrow, right? Alright. Do you think I can shoot him from here? Alright. Did I hit him, you think? That thing does an awful lot of damage. It kills me in one hit, if I'm not mistaken. Man, I have to sh <laughs> I have to make it... Uh, I have to arch it up so far. Alright, here we go. That's a hit. There you go. Got him. You think that's the last one? Ooh. I found a frog. This red frog only fetches out in the rain. Alright. Gonna make a... Nice. We're gonna make a nice little potion or elixir out of that. A little while later. Apparently there's a chest for me over here too. Nice. What's going on, Shinobu? Your inventory is full. I swear my inventory is always full though. Um well, time to drop one of these bows, I guess. That one's terrible. That one's pretty bad too. Excellent. Now, I don't know what actually happens once we do make our way towards one of those Divine Beasts. I don't know if I'm supposed to fight them, or like, if I have to like, ask them nicely. I would imagine I have to fight them, but... I don't think asking nicely is gonna cut it. But we'll see. Hey, another frog. Hello, Mr. Frog. Thank you very much. Alright. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, maybe I should just ask super nicely. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hello, Mr. Frog. Come up here, Mr. Frog. Ah, huh. he disappeared inside of the stone. That's incredible. Hey. Sidon, the prince that we met earlier. How are you doing, sir? He's like a mermaid. With a Colgate smile. Sorry for calling from so far away. The domain is still ways off, but you're making good progress. I shall be along soon myself. It won't be much longer. In the meantime, I'll be cheering you on from here in the river. So hang in there. You can do it. Stay strong. Very good. I can just go over here. What's that? Should I shoot it down? Whatever it is. Oh. Keys wings. Oh god. Oh! The answer was yes. The answer was yes. I um, <clears throat> should shoot him down. Yep, yep, I uh, should do that. That seems useful. I just got taste. Taste to death. This is like the uh, Zelda equivalent of a StarCraft 2 probe. Hmm. A Zepdos? Well, I mean, if this is what Zepdos looks like right now, I'd be a little sad, but... I could also climb over it, by the way. I'm not sure which is better. Hey, Mr. Frog. Uh-huh. 
Should have picked up Mr. Frog. I don't have that many arrows anymore, but I guess enough for uh, some of those things. Man. So wait, I'm actually curious. Some people have suggested I should turn on motion control. So what's, how is this, so how do you do it actually? Do you just, con okay. Ah, I don't know if that really makes it easier, but. That does not make it easier, chat. No, I, I'm not a fan of this. It's already really frustrating. Um, not, not for me. Not for me. Not for me. There's a couple more over there in the distance. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to... Uh... There you go. Ooh, did I just kill two in one arrow? I think I may have. Nice. Man. Ooh. So much electricity around here. Hey. Not a big fan. Woo. No, no, no. Ah. No. Aha! Calculated. <sighs> Thank you very much, Swifty, for the nine month resub. Whew. That was very close. Did not mean for it to be that close, but. Alright. Ah. Oh. Um, that's actually fine. Can I use my hammer? <laughs> this stuff seems to sell for quite a bit. Should you just sell amber? I guess so. Man. Not a very friendly place. All right, once again, big fight coming up. This is definitely the most, uh, the most packed with enemies uh, area that we found so far. That was almost a correct English sentence. Um, my guardian sword will not last forever, though. Hello, buddy. I can't repair my sword, right, as far as I can tell. Whoa, 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 whoa! Alright. Hey, I got some arrows from that guy again as well. Guys, we hit a bunch of arrows in a row, by the way. I don't want to brag, but... Quite proud of myself. <laughs> Ooh, found 20 rupees. Nice. Oh, more arrows. Excellent. What's going on, Dr. Mosey? How are you doing, Starlet Ninjas? Good to see you guys. Hope you're having nice days. What's up, buddy? Or buddies? I'm making my way towards the first divine beast. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Uh, I have to loot a lot of arrows around here, guys. It does make me a little anxious that I'm gonna actually have to, like, use it. No, you cannot repair your weapons as far as I know, so I'm pretty sure this is just simply what we're dealt with right now and what we have to do uh, with. So basically you have to continuously pick up new weapons and different ones. Alright, the Oren Bridge. 
What a nice place. All right, here he is again. What's going on, Sidon? He says, hey, Link! You're almost halfway to Zora's domain. Oh, by the way, there's a few spots up ahead with lots of enemies, but I'm sure you'll be fine. I believe in you, Link. Alrighty, thank you very much. Could he not just, like, take me on his back? That seems fair, right? Whoa! So wait, do headshots deal extra damage? Yeah, it's making me loot tons of arrows. Oh, they do? Ah, alright. A green rupee. A single rupee! Woo! One rupee, baby! Feels good. Uh, exciting times. Aw, oh, that doesn't work. How about now? Aha! Oh. <laughs> it didn't work. Um, do I have any apples? Yeah, I do. Do you think it's worth bombing these crates? They don't seem to have very many things in them, but maybe I'm destroying the stuff that's inside of it, though. By using bombs like this. Eh, uh, probably. Always staying in the danger zone, exactly. You know what's up, Dr. Mosey. Brindy Olf, thank you very much for your support. Welcome to the family. Thank you for your subscription. Oh, God. The Dark Souls 1 dungeon all over again. Remember that, uh, that castle that the Onion Knight was outside of? It's got all kinds of rolling... Actually, was that the one with the rolling boulders? I'm not sure. Sense Fortress, exactly. Climbing up. Oh man, I've got a feeling this is gonna be a big fight. No, no, I'm burrowed, dude. I'm burrowed now. You can't see me anymore, because I'm like, bending my knees. Are you kidding me? He saw me even though I bent my knees? Sounds to me like he's hacking. Come over here, buddy. Ooh, a Zora spear. Man, there is so... Guys, there are so many items I'm getting over here. I've played games for longer than just today, okay? When they give you a ton of weapons, a ton of food, and a ton of, like, items in general, it pretty much always indicates that there's a fight up ahead. I'm gonna leave. Should I just leave the leaf behind as well? Yeah, I don't know. It's probably useful to have a torch. The games are never really this generous. Unless there's something useful. Aha! Uh -huh, apple! Oh, actually, that one came from the tree. What's this wall? I've never seen a wall like this before. Oh! All right. Um, I am continuously fighting more stuff. Oh, 
Oh, come on! The electricity here is crazy. What? No, I've got a weapon equipped, right? Oh man, I did not have a weapon equipped. I think I may have thrown my weapon or something. Not sure what I did there. All right, found a boomerang again. Very good. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I did throw it on the ground. All right, let's eat. What am I gonna eat? Do I need any food for the fights? I'm not sure. Whoa! He just smashed me. Hey. Woo! He, did he die as well though? I think he did. Cookie Monster, thank you very much for the support. I think just as I can deal extra damage by doing headshots, they can get extra damage. By, uh, yeah. Smashing me in the back. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Got the boomerang. Oh, electricity makes you drop your weapons. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, all right. Well, that explains that. Ah. How do I equip a spear? Ah, oh, there we go. Or, sorry, a bow. Alright. Ooh. Nah, you don't see me, buddy. There's nothing here. Don't even worry about it. I wanted to hit him in the head, but head shields are pretty tricky. Alright. There's a lot of monsters over here, but... Whew! Alright. I think I've cleaned them all up. We're starting to get the hang a little bit of the aiming with a controller, but... I'm definitely no expert. Hey, what was... what was... what was up at this, like, weirdly colored wall? Because I saw this one a little while ago. Didn't really get the chance to check it out proper. History of the Zora Part 1. The Eternal Zora's Domain, as taught by King Dorafam. The rains have blessed Lanairu since ancient times with an abundance of pure clean water. Seeking a bounty of such water, the Zora gathered there. Thus, as the legends go, the domain was born 10,000 years ago. The, legend, uh, the land was also rich in ore, and so a unique form of stone masonry was developed to create our new home. The domain is one giant sculpture, a feat of architecture that has drawn admirers the world over. A great domain will ever stand as a hallmark of the esteemed artist who made it, an eternal symbol of Zora pride. Alright. Well, I guess we'll see what it's about. I, uh, I'm just about to get over there. Nice. Lots of useful stuff. Can you just attack with a boomerang as well? Oh yeah, you can. Oh, 
Alrighty. I think we're just about to make our way there. Anything I'm missing around here? Yeah, I could uh, I could start discovering every single nook and cranny, but I don't think I should. It's too much, too much to explore. <laughs> all right, here's the bridge. This doesn't seem like a risky place to cross at all. How did this ever pass testing? Like a child can easily fit underneath that. Come on now. In particular when it's like uh, raining here all the time, right? Doesn't seem like a very safe place, but <laughs> oh. Hey, hey Link look below down here. What's up Sidon? Sidon come on now, dude <laughs> You're still pretty far off my friend, but I was sure you'd be passing over the bridge So I've been waiting for you you will be in Zora's Domain before you know it. In fact, I'm going to head that way too. I shall meet you there. Yes. Wow, Link, beware. A monster approaches from behind you. Oh, all right. Oh, God. I thought maybe he would stagger. I guess my boomerang doesn't stagger, eh? Sit down. Um... Let us go ahead and eat once more. Dubious food. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That one's uh, a lot of stars. And I also, at the same time, want to get rid of some of the items that I've got. So let's drop that. Let's drop that. Let's drop that. Let's drop that. All right, I got his club. Sidon was really excited about me heading in this direction, though, guys. I'm not sure. He seems to stop me every four steps that I take. Every step I take. <laughs> every move I make. Every breath I take. Sidon's watching you. I never drank the elixir. No, I didn't. It only lasts six minutes, guys. Nice, a rupee! Woo! One rupee! Yes! I'm a rich boy! You think Sidon has a crush on me? Yeah, six minutes is nothing compared to how slow I play, dude. That's barely anything for me. I feel like we're, uh, oh god. Oh, one of those wizards. I feel like we are, uh, walking straight into a boss fight. Shut up, Harry Potter! It's Livio's song! Whoa! Oh no, no, it's not a time for making photographs. No, stop making photographs. Oh God. Nice. Ooh, I got a lightning rod, a magical rod that can shoot balls of electricity. All right. A mighty carp? A forked Lysel spear? Man. I've never had this many things in my life. I should use the hammer on crates. 
But blowing them up is also fun. Woo, got an apple, guys. A wooden shield, whoa! Okay. Two rupees! Alrighty. History of Zora, addendum two, or addendum one. King Dorovan stands his ground. Around 100 years after King Dorovan ascended to the throne, a stray guardian crossed upland Zorana into our domain. The guardian seemed unstoppable. Our best soldier's spears barely left a scratch on its metal hull. It was then that King Dorovan, without a thought for his own safety, came out to face the guardian himself. With supernatural strength, he lifted the guardian and hurled it into the ravine. The impact of the fall left the Guardian in pieces, and it was never to trouble another Zora ever again. The citizens celebrated the King's valor. From then on, their trust and respect for him grew beyond compare. You can still see the scar he earned that day on his forehead. <laughs> it's Harry Potter, guys, I told you. A token of his triumph. Man. I feel like there's some uh, Zora propaganda going on right here. I don't believe a half, a half of this is true, but... Then at his 11th birthday... A man with a scraggly beard and a flying motorcycle showed up... At the front door of their hiding place. You're a wizard, Horvan. Alright, sorry. I'll, I'll shut up. All right, we're almost there, guys. The first of the ancient beasts. And that's probably where we're gonna end today as well. <laughs> if I indeed have to fight him, it's probably gonna take me a little while. See? I'm in the grass, guys. He can't see anything. I'm basically invisible. I've been saying I'm almost there for like 20 minutes. Well, I mean, on the minimap it shows as if I'm already almost there, but... Every time I am. Harry Potter here teleports another area in between. It's incredible. You think I can hit his head? Ah, it's pretty tricky. Oh, thought that it was a headshot. That was a headshot, though. Oh, almost hit his pinky toe. A pinky toe? Is that a thing? I'm not sure. Alrighty. The sculpture. That we were looking for. And apparently a little bit more propaganda. And then we'll be able to cross this bridge. Hori of Zerspend... Okay. Yeah, yeah, Okay, okay. That's too much. Time has taken a toll on this. Maybe I should read it, but... It says something about a helm, but, you know. Good on, Mooney. Good to see you in the chat, sir. Nice to have you here. Oh, that is a pretty looking city, though. Look at it. All right. Shrine nearby. Oh, yeah, I did see that there was a shrine. I think it's up there, though. Yeah, it is. Alright, well, maybe uh, we can make our way there a little while later. What? Is there a shrine over there? Oh, I think there might be. Alright, guys. The weather forecast shows us that there's just more rain coming up. Welcome to the Zora's Domain. Is 
It's a pretty city, though. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> I was waiting for you here, Link. What is Colgate smile? Welcome! Behold the pride of my people, Zora's domain. Now I shall introduce you to the king! Hurry this way. Alright. Uh -huh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hi, Liane. Eh? I believe this is our first meeting. Yes, my name is Dunma. <laughs> Link, you can't ask that. It's 2019. Yeah, uh, Link. You guys, I have to. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh May, how observant are you? Is there a problem? How old are you? Oh my God. That is not an appropriate question to ask a lady you've just met. I should say I'm less than 100 years old. Can't you tell? I'm so much less formal than the elders, aren't I? Uh. At any rate, right now Zora's domain is looking for a Hylian or a Hylian warrior. For more detailed information, please go speak with the king. Mr. King, how are you doing? Is this small one the... No, those are little baby Hylians. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Good day. Mm -hmm. Hmm, who are you? Uh, hey, don't copy me. Okay, now that I have a closer look, I see you're a Hylian. So if you're a Hylian, did you come from far away? I asked because my... Oh, never mind. My dad told me not to talk to strangers. Ah. Alrighty. We got another shrine. The Ness or Nies Yoma Shrine. Totally fine, uh, Giltas. It's a Yomama shrine. No, 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 guys, not quite. So these shrines are basically little puzzles, and if I complete four of them, I can choose to permanently improve my health or my stamina. So I don't know how many I'm supposed to have, like, gotten right now. I've only done, like, five after, like, the starting area, which maybe isn't that much, but... Considering I could go in any direction, or any direction, I think it's fine. To you, who sets food in this shrine, I am your mama. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Alrighty. Um. Do I use my cry... whatever it's called? Sick, loco. Sick work! Nice. Found a spear. Of course my inventory is full. My inventory is always full. Is that just me or is like everyone who's ever played this game's inventory always full? Jeez, it's always full. Always. Always. I get to upgrade it? Well, uh, yeah, I guess, but... I upgraded it once. It's always full no matter what? Okay. So, hey, what do I actually have to do here, though? I've upgraded it once already, and it's always still full, though. Oh, God. Am I even supposed to be here? I've got a feeling I'm not even really supposed to be here. Alright. 
Um. So what exactly is my objective here? Do I have to get that one onto like the little slope kind of thing? Because I can push it just like that, right? But that's obviously not gonna do, really do anything. You guys gonna roll? Good. Where is this supposed to roll into? <gasps> I feel like this is one of the one of the basic things in this one, right? Where is it supposed to go? Does anyone know what I'm supposed to do? Usually you're supposed to like push it into a certain area, but I'm not sure where. trying random things now normally you have to like push it into like a certain cup or, or something like that but hmm. do I have to push it somewhere down does it have to fall like somewhere down below oh it has to go over there how am I going to get it over there? Alright, well, better get started, I guess. Um, I do have to, like, sort of plan ahead a little, though, right? Not sure what that laser thing does, by the way, but... I want it to, like, roll past here. And then I want it to be up right now. Through that little thing. Um, if I push one over here and then I push it up, it should be able to roll into that slope thing, right? You think that works? There you go. Oh god, no, I don't want it to be up here. Come on, fine. Okay, good. So it's gonna roll past that. Yes. Go. Right. Now it just has to go up, right? No, no, no. Ah, oh, crap. No! Stop! No! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yo, Thunder Report. Thank you for the support. Welcome. 40-11 in a row. I don't know if this is actually any good, though. Uh, I don't see how I could still, like, make this any better, but... Yeah, I don't think this is still any good. I can push it up. Slowly. Come on. Does that do anything? I don't think I can do this, guys. What a pain. 
Ugh, come on, it just needs to go in there. It's so close. Thing is though, if I would just push it up right now, it's probably just gonna roll down. I don't think I can move it in this direction anymore. Nah, it's like a cube. I can't really like rotate it. If I could move it live a little bit differently, I think I would be able to, but I can't grab it, right? If I could grab it, that would make it super easy. Is that gonna do anything? Ah. Uh -huh. Ah! <laughs> we can! No! Oh, come on! Ah, uh, you have to be fast and it's like kind of a pain in the butt. I have to like put it right over there. <sighs> Guys, I am probably faster just restarting this whole thing, but... I could hit it multiple times, yes. But... Then I'm worried it's gonna like... Just... Oh, come on. No! Oh! <laughs> no! Ah! Oh. Come on! Ah, that sucks. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. At least we got to retry it. Um, can I actually do this still? Like this? Is that gonna be enough? Nice. This one's stupid, man. I don't like this one at all. It might not be able to go very far from here. Is it gonna destroy there? Or like, what's the idea behind that? What does that laser do in the first place? Does anyone know what the laser actually is supposed to do? Kills me? Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured it would kill me, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's go. Roll off the side, please. Perfect. Come on. Ah, uh, it's so it's so sluggish. Ugh. I don't like this one very much. I don't know uh, if I'm doing it wrong or if I'm doing it in the wrong order or what the idea behind it is, but I really don't uh, don't like this one very much. It's also a little bit uh, disorienting, like the water flow and like the way I walk against it, give me a bit of a headache. All right, so we have to put one over here, one over here.
It's a puzzle for a reason. Yeah, obviously. Not a very fun puzzle, though. We've had some really good ones so far. Like the flying and stuff, those were sick. This one is kind of like... Eh, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna actually have to destroy this one as well. Because I need to put one over there. There you go. Now we'll move it, we'll push it on the on the on the side here. So hopefully it's gonna like go off at a bit of an angle. Is that gonna do it? Nope. Good. Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Good. Good! Is this really the solution though? I kind of feel like I, I've got some sort of ghetto solution here. Where well, it's not really supposed to work like this, but I'm kind of doing it. Alright. Here we are at the very ending of it. I think it will automatically roll in there as long as I push it over this one, right? So as long as it like goes in this direction, I should be okay. Actually, I can't do that. It has to be stuck just over here. Is that gonna like... Uh, I think it might have to be just a little further. Like that. Then I push it up over here. And then it should get stuck right over there and then I can like put one underneath and that should be that. Right? Right? Um... I think it's gonna make it if I just put one below it. I've got a feeling it's gonna roll past it. Like, I feel like it's gonna roll past if I push one underneath right now. Is that even gonna do anything though? So now I can push it up. Nah, it should be fine. It should be fine. One time game, one time. GG. GG. Nuts. Where's the chest? Did I already open a chest? I've been here for like 10 minutes. No, longer. I need to put the ball in the hole, guys. And we managed. I did? Okay, good. Big brain, guys. 200 IQ. That took a, a long time. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm ready for the RP. Alright, you ready, chat? <clears throat> Sorry.
That's incredible. Yeah! Alright. Got another spirit orb. Yeah, may the goddess smile upon you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. We got a spirit orb, guys. Only 120 or so left to do. How many were there again? 120 is what someone said, I think. That's a lot. I don't know if we're gonna get to that point. Probably not. 120 in total? I've done maybe 10. Alrighty. Welcome to the Zora's Domain. This is a nice little city, though. Hey! Yeah. Good morning! Welcome to Morrow Mart. This is where you'll find our general store, the Coral Reef. Our workshop, the Hammerhead, is also Ooh. here. Or, do you need something else? <laughs> See ya. Are you the general store? Hi. Yeah. Alright. Here we have Switch Violets that will help you run faster if you cook them. They also carry arrows. Ah. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah. We've got a lot of stuff. Do I sell ores? Like, for example, amber. Do I sell amber? I don't know what to sell. Or start to sell. Alright. All of them? Yep. Oh. 210 rupees. Now I've got 300. Nice. I don't know if I want to sell those, to be honest. Uh, the rock salt is pretty useful. I don't think I've got any other ores, right? Alright, yeah. thank you. Swift Violet. Rock salt. Arrows. Lots of different arrows. Is it worth buying arrows? Nah. I don't think I should. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and meet the king, I guess. Hi! Um. What is this store? I'm so mad at her. I need to get to the Bank of Wishes to send a letter, but Mother won't let me go because of that water monster. She treats me like a child. It's so condescending. It's really terrible to be at that awkward Zora age where I'm a young woman, but I haven't reached my growth spurt yet. Just my luck to be a late bloomer. I'll probably never grow taller. Ugh, it's awful to be me sometimes. I doubt Hallians have to deal with nonsense like that since you're age so fast. You're so lucky. What's the letter? Whenever I put a letter in a bottle and send it down Zora River, I always get a reply without fail. I wonder what he is like, the one responding to my letters. I want to meet him so badly. Do you need anything else? Nope. She's sending love letters down the river. It's just an inn, yeah. So they they age and then they like grow all of a sudden. Fair enough. All right. Whew. That's the king, that big penguin-looking feller. All right. Well, he's kind of like a penguin, right? Nah, maybe not. Nah, not really. You must be the Hylian that Sidon brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way. I am King Dorafan, ruler of the Zora. Hmm, that object upon your waist? Is he looking at my one-eyed uh, device hanging from my from my waist? Sorry, that will never get old. Um, that object, yeah, it's a Sheikah Slate. 
Now that I've gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. You are the Hylian Champion Link! Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian Champion you can't mean the Link. That champion? So that's where I've heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence. <laughs> I cannot believe it. The Hylian Champion Link has appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. So many memories, my mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I've heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. Extraordinary. I lost my memory, though. Come again? You say you've lost your memory? But surely you wa you must remember my precious daughter, Mipha. Yes, you do not know? Who? I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mipha as well? You and Mipha were so close, yet you do not remember her? Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mipha's immortalized form still not jerk your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. Mm. I clearly hope so. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters. Mm. Oh, yes. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. That's quite a feat, my boy. That is a good one. Link, I doubt not you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zora's domain is in danger of vanishing because of the divine beast, Faruta. I shall do the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? What? King Dorafan, my leash, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help? Why? The very thought of it curls my fins. Mm -hmm. Musa, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Ah. Musa, it's rude to speak that way uh, to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have you not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He's the key to saving Zora's domain. I have no doubt in my mind. Mm. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my, Link, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And now that's not the last of it. They should have built a wall to keep out all those Hylians, eh? <laughs> it is their fault that Lady Mipha was lost to us. Divine Beast, Varuta, has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Zora, water and air are as one. You would not think this uh, would be quite so critical of a problem. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir, nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it will soon, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. There. Hylian lives are in very grave danger. The Divine Beast is crying out once again. Man, I've been reading for like 20 minutes! <laughs> okay, maybe not quite, but... Oh, is that it? Oh. What is it? Like an elephant? It looked like an elephant kind of thing. The divine beast, Varuta, your princess Zelda, often studied the beasts. That is, in time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulder are mechanics that control the water it generates. However, that requires electricity. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through them. <sighs> Sagan, who is uh, quite shock resistant for a Zora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. 
Perhaps because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. Uh -oh. This is why I went to search for a Helion who could help us. Link, I am certain you have already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working again. Hmm. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, Hero, I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. Okay. That's awesome, Apprentice. <laughs> yeah, Mistborn is awesome. Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within? So Princess Zelda is still alive? Yes, she is. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of a hundred years ago cannot be altered, it is true, but if we regain control of the Divine Beasts, they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. I did not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. Wondrous, naturally. I shall help too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside. Come, Link. Let us appease Ruta together. Okay. Thank you, Link. We are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meetings was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Alrighty. Swim speed up with Zora's armor. Cool. So long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like Zora. Please, take good care of it. King Dorafan, surely you really do not intend to give the outside of the armor. Countless generation of Zora princesses have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mipha made that one there with her own hands. It's far too important to entrust to a shady Hylian. My god, that man is a racist. He may be a champion, but Mipha had no relationship with him. So why should he receive such honor? This is just too much, my leash. I do not understand it one bit. All right. You must understand he was in charge of educating my dear daughter. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as he means the world for us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. Mm. Mm. What shall we do now? I task Musu with finding shock arrows. We will need to appease Furatu, or Ruta. But now he has rushed off in a huff. Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with him. I shall return shortly. Sidon, I suppose that means you are going to tell him. Link, Musa is most likely at square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. I did it, chat. I read it all. Probably have to do more talking, though. Yo, racist! Hmm, you came all this way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Listen well, Musa, there's something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one whom my sister Mipha had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I did not know it at my, or myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories. Some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. What? No! Yeah, she fancied me, dude! <laughs> you cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie, not this Zora. How could Lady Mimfa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? The facts are clear, he remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mipha's statue. It's the truth, Musu. Though you never knew it, he was ever in Mipha's heart. Everyone loves me, man. I was thinking, this reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child, always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time, I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was...
was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. Aww. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps we could spend some time together. Aww. And then Link friend zoned her, right? In favor of Zelda. <laughs> Like, oh, I'm just not interested in a relationship right now. Maybe we can be friends. <laughs> What's the matter, Link? Are you unwell? Hmm? You're quivering like a hatchling. I remember now. What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Hylian. There's no way you remembered her just now. When well, it's most convenient, in any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you. At your word. If you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so, and I shall tell you about those shock arrows. Yes. As well as anything else you wish to know. Well, hold hands? I'm wearing gloves for a reason, guys. Obviously, you can't hold hands before marriage, but with gloves, that changes everything. Um... How would I prove it? Well, that gear does look sick. I'm wearing her armor now? Hmm. Look closely at the clothes he's wearing. R really? That was it? You really think changing clothes is gonna make me... Huh? What in the... That is the Zora armor from before! Lady Mipha made that by hand and it fits you perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Yeah. Now you understand. Now you know who her heart belonged to and who she made this special armor for. Oh! The fact that it fits uh, Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mipha made it for him and him alone. She never anticipated me gaining any weight or like growing or anything. You've always disliked Hylians, even before the Great Calamity. This is why Mepha never told you. Now that you know, you must promise to help us all. Tell us where we can find the shock arrows. Knowing you, I bet you've already figured it out. Hmm, I never would have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. I love it whenever my clothes from 100 years ago still fit like a glove, man. So sick. Ah. I do not approve of asking for help from a Hylian, but I suppose it is our only option at this point. I'm a proud Zora, this means I must take responsibility. As promised, I shall tell you where you can collect as many shock arrows as you will need. Ah. That tall mountain over yonder, it's called the Ploymus Mountain. And there's, uh, there you will find Shatterback Point. A terrifying creature has made its home up there. This awful beast shoots follies every, uh, a folly after folly of shock arrows. Even a single one could be fatal to a Zora. Aha, you must mean that Lionel. He's a man beast, that one. That beast does indeed wield shock arrows. That is certain. Uh, certainly one way to collect them quickly. He's vicious, be sure, but I'm certain Link will rise to the challenge. In order to appease the divine beast, I estimated you will need 20. Do you think you can gather that many? Alright. Why do you still doubt Musu? Hmm. Okay, Link, let's get moving. The fastest way is to ascend the waterfall east of the domain. That Zora armor should come in handy. Just swim through the water basin and then go up the waterfall from there. I'll wait at the east reservoir lake. <laughs> All right, finally, we can play games again, guys. Woo!
It would be nice if they would have voice acted all of that, right? That would be super cool. Instead, there's like some little parts that are voice acted and other parts that just... Can I, uh, swim? I do not know. Let's save. I should probably get about 50 considering my aim. Hey guys, that's that's not very nice. You're probably right, but... Oh, I thought I could actually just make this just like this. But... No, come on, Link. <sighs> um, I don't think I was supposed to climb down. Excellent. How do I get back? Oh, can I climb up these waterfalls? How can I ever have enough energy for that? How much energy does that cost, though? Does it cost energy? Well, if so, I'm super dead. I'm wearing the gear, so it should be okay. Woo! Alright, that was pretty sick. I got extra points for style as well with the jump off, right? Like I, uh, I did a perfect landing and everything. How do I get up to this bridge now? Um. Can I go in this one? Can I go from here? Uh, no, I can't. I was hoping I could glide into it and then, you know, go up. Yeah. All right. I don't know why I can't just swim like that all the time. Exactly, yeah. Fierce knows what's up. I'm one of the slowest swimmers ever. But... <gasps> yes, sir. East gate is all clear, sir. Thank you. No. If that isn't Master Link, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? We used to play together all the time. <laughs> you don't seem to have changed much. Alright, alright, alright. Even after knowing each other for over a hundred years, we still just chit-chat. Oh, I have to go up to this big one. Ah. Alright. I can try. What was that? Hey, you. Come in my backpack. You too. I need to make a potion out of you. Sorry about that. I've played the Ocarina of Time, yeah. Here we go. Man, that's a useful set of gear, isn't it? Come on. There you go. Do I just keep climbing up? I don't know why it doesn't take me any energy to climb up like that. You would imagine it would, right? But <laughs> I 
Loki, ever played a game like StarCraft? What's StarCraft? Is that like Minecraft? Alright. I'm ready. So this dude I have to kill, I think? I have to collect arrows. At least 20. Alright. I'm ready. Uh... Hello? So I just have to collect arrows though, I don't have to kill him. Don't you dare, Mr. Fox, giving away my position like that. Alright guys, here's the plan. It's over, Lionel! I've got the high ground! Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Oh! Thunder! I was cold! In the middle of a real- Okay, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Inner ACDC just came out. I looked around! <laughs> uh oh uh oh <laughs> Asshole! What can I do? Hello. I don't think I should uh, take your arrows. Oh my god, he deals a lot of damage. I've got a sparkle stick. Do you think he gets hurt by my sparkle stick? I've got a feeling he probably won't be. Um, so here's the thing. The game never actually really um, has been much of a challenge as far as the combat goes up to this point. Not exactly sure how to fight well. <laughs> um... You know how with like Dark Souls, everything can kill you, kind of? And you have to like be like decent, even if you don't really know what you're doing. This game hasn't really needed that up to this point. And um, I'm curious. So can I dodge? Can I like jump backwards? Oh, I can jump sideways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Come up here, pussy. Ooh, that still hurts, though. That still hurts really bad. Hmm. Oh, I think my my shield broke? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn some mechanics, I suppose. Dark Souls is a game where you hit spacebar or A until you die? No, Dark Souls is a really sick game, man. Dark Souls is super good. Alright. Well, let me equip my weapons. Now, let's save right here. I could probably just not kill him. I could probably just loot the arrows, which was the actual quest. But we can try killing him at least. Come on, Link. Like the time for stumbling is is past. Sick, sickness. Oh, I had my shield up, but it didn't do anything. Oh no, I did not have my shield up. Wait, no, I do. Okay. 
We just have to learn what kind of mechanics he has. Okay. Why can't we just be friends, though? Oh, how did you parry again? I don't know if you can parry. Parrying was like hold down L or ZL and then hit A? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the correct time. Nope, that was not the correct time either. So it's not when he like swings up, but I think it's when it's just about to hit you, right? In some games, it's a little bit different. In Dark Souls, you want to like do it a little bit, a little bit sooner or a little bit earlier, rather. All right. That's a very difficult thing uh, to to just do all of a sudden, though. Well, hey, I can try. Oh, what? I didn't have my shoe up? Oh, it's because I'm... Ah, oh, I've got a two-handed weapon. I've got a two-handed weapon. Yeah, okay. So as soon as I equip my weapon, it just derps out or something. It unequips my shield. That doesn't really help me. This is where we need SSDs, guys. <laughs> so what's my... Uh, do I have a one-hander? I guess these spares are, right? The boomerangs are as well. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That was a different attack. I don't think I can dodge that one. So wait, can I eat in combat? Dude, I can't see shit. That's a terrible camera angle. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand in the middle, dude. I'm just gonna stand in the middle. You can pause and eat. Oh, okay. So just like in, uh, in Skyrim, I can eat like 20 rolls of cheese and it'll be fine. I don't know if my shield's gonna break though, that's an issue. So I can just eat right now? That seems so backwards that I can just eat in the middle of a fight. <laughs> it worked. Dude, that's a different attack though. That one I cannot dodge. I think I have to backflip that one. Yeah, now it breaks my shield down. Ah, this is gonna be taking a while. Hey, why am I why am I equipping my sword again? What's up with my sword? Why do I have that sword equipped again? I unequipped the sword ages ago and put on the boomerang instead and then I saved. For some reason it didn't save or it didn't change it. Didn't I save? I thought I did. Probably not, eh? Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave this one. Okay. All right. Why do I not? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Jeez. 
<sighs> I like how I die in two hits. We just have to get the hang of it. It's gonna take us a couple attempts, I guess. I need more hearts. Why? Well, that would be nice, yeah. Why am I now equipping my bow? I didn't want a bow. Okay, we have to learn the mechanics first and foremost. Do you roll away from the weapon? Or against it? I think you roll like against it in the other direction. Or do you just roll backwards? Do you think backwards is better? Hmm. Okay. Nice, got the grass. Woo, got great grass. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why you burn out? Oh my god. Why did Link all of a sudden like hunker down? What's up with that? I know I don't need to kill him. I know I need, don't need to kill him. I don't want to do that. I burrow. Yeah, I, I don't know what's called. Like, you, you like... He like goes and, and like he, he hunkers to the ground. It's like, you know, you crunch. I guess it's when you click the, the, the stick. Did I not have my shield up? I like how you can just eat forever though, right? If you have a lot of food, you cannot really die. Right? I'm glad I got at least one extra heart. Tried to uh, tried parrying that. I don't know if parrying is really worth it. I don't know if parrying is really worth it. Do I know how the flurry thing works? Not a uh, not a clue. Oh, I think I have to like flip backwards or something, right? Oh, I had my shield up, man. Some shields are just not very good, I guess. Yeah, like I cannot really shield very many attacks. Because it immediately breaks my shield. That's sick. I didn't realize that part. Oh, wow. So wait, do I just dodge every attack? Just not shield anything? But how do I do a flurry, though? How do I do a flurry? Because they told me at, like, one point. But... I don't know how. Perfect dodge? Wait, you dodge at the last second or something? What does a perfect dodge mean? Like, a dodge... <laughs> oh. So wait, I have to backflip at the last possible second? Does it do it automatically? How, does it do it automatically? Oh. That's a good dodge, right? How is that not a perfect dodge, mate?
Okay, we're not even attacking him right now. I'm just trying to like learn his dodging thing. Is that not a good dodge? Can I hit him in between? Yeah, I can. Maybe I should just do that. Too early? Wow. So it's basically like uh, like parrying except with dodging. All right, all right. What is dodge? We'll just forget about parrying altogether. I wish I had a better weapon though, that'd be nice. I also don't think I actually have my weapon out there. Ah. Ah, uh, I didn't have my weapon out previously. I didn't have my weapon out previously. <laughs> Go. I hope I have uh, enough weapons, guys. I don't seem to have uh, enough weapons. <laughs> um, um, these are two hands. Well, I guess two hand is fine, but I'd rather not. Is it a two hand? Oh, jeez, <laughs> it is a two hand. Crap! That was a good start, but I don't have enough. I don't think I've got enough damage output. I should use them until they're break. Okay. Why, why did I not dodge? Oh, come on. I, I definitely did hit wide there, but he did nothing. Oh, no. Oh, come on. God, I was switching weapon. Oh, come on. Oh, I got wrecked. No, no, I need my weapon out. Come on, unsheat it. Pretty sure I hit uh, hit the door there. All right. No, you do need it out though. If you had, if you don't have your weapon out or you don't have it like unsheathed, it doesn't seem to give you that flurry option, right? Because I did the same thing like twice. First time around, I didn't have, I didn't have my weapon out, and it didn't seem to do anything. All right. There we go. Is this really my best way of killing him, though, you think? Well, seems to do quite well. Wow, what? Ah! Uh, I don't even know what I did wrong there. Did the same thing. I did the same thing. I guess I'm doing it maybe a little too soon or something. I'm not sure. What happened there? Nothing. 
So if you pause in the middle of combat while holding up your shield, you change weapon. When it like comes back out of the game, even though you may have still hold the trigger down, it's not going to keep the shield raised. That's very confusing. Yeah, this is essentially the first uh, the first boss fight. After uh, what? Ten hours? It's been a little while, eh? Kinda wish they gave us that a little bit quicker, but. Go. Do you think I should attack him in between? Probably. Oh, I didn't have my weapon out there. Then I did the unequip, or then I did equip it, and then even though I still held down my shield button, it didn't have my shield up. Confusing. That's a lot of hit points though, guys. Hmm. Nice, wasted some food there. Um, I guess with the Claymore out, it's pretty good, but I'm not gonna be able to, uh... I was gonna say, keep my shield up, obviously, because this is a two-handed weapon. Um, I got actually a lot of fish. Oh god, wrong button. I don't actually think I like that it pauses, though, because it kind of throws my momentum off. Alright. It's so silly! The fact that you can do this is insane. <laughs> Alright. I seem to do way better initially, but as soon as I like have to pause, it just sort of messes up a lot of things. Alright. I guess it's mostly just a matter of focusing though. gonna use all my food come on man I I definitely did dodge that one all right so we're about halfway guys attempt number 64 I hope I have enough weapons because I've already broken two of them, and this one is not particularly strong. Although it seems to last a little while longer, though, to be honest. Oh god, what's this? Crap, he's got another attack! Oh, come on! <laughs> I tried to run to the sides there, but it didn't happen. Uh, yeah, I'm out of food. Well, I guess I can eat raw materials, eh? Oh, I got- I got hardy reddishes, dude. I got- I'm fine. So, he has faces, I guess. Oh, come on. Why am I- Stop crouching.
No! Stop! What am I supposed to do against that? Oh god, I'm screwed. If he's slicing and you have to switch weapon during that attack, you just don't hold your shield up. It sucks. It sucks a lot. If you, uh, like, you know, I said I was dead, right? Basically, your shield just drops as soon as you come out of that animation. It kind of sucks, but... Alright. We're getting there. Listen. Hey, thank you, Fubarius. You fought well, Loco. Thank you, buddy. I try. I try. No, no, no. Stop doing this. I know you don't need to kill him, guys. I just want to. Get out of here! Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start doing other tricks now, eh? Out of tricks. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Centaur looking thing. Oh, God. So that's what I mean, though. You see that? I cannot stop that. It sucks. Luckily, I've got a lot of food still, but like. You know, if I switch in the middle of it, obviously I shouldn't be switching in the middle of it, but it's a weird mechanic. Not sure if I like that. Well, I thought I uh, thought I dodged there. Basically, have to wait until he's like running around. Until I switch weapon. Oh, I could mount him? It said I could mount him. You see that? There was a button for mount. I don't know if I want to risk that, though. That seems like a risk. Come up here, buddy. Whoa, what the heck? What's that camera work? It's like Dark Souls 1 all over again. Oh, I'm crouched. Jeez, why am I crouched? Stop crouching. How do I uncrouch? <laughs> I guess I uncrouched? I'm not sure. I guess you click the button again, right? Jeez. How do you know if you're crouched, though? I just have to pay attention, I guess, to my character, right? Oh, I was crouching all the time there? Oh, that sucks. May have crouched again, actually. Whenever I click the button on accident, it seems to always crouch. He's generous, though. If he hits once with that ability, he just stops attacking. You could just do this three times, right? He could just finish me off like that, but since he's a good guy, he doesn't do that. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I would get the perfect one there. Oh, that sucks. All right. Luckily, I got some radishes still. What else do I have? Some herbs. All right. I really don't know if I've got enough weapons, though. I ran into a rock. Ah. Oh. Come on, rock. <laughs> no, stop. Stop crouching. I swear I crouch every time. Come on. Come on. Ah, we're learning how to do this game, guys. We're getting there. <laughs> Don't get... <laughs> Loco, remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. No rocks. Don't walk into a rock, Loco. I didn't. Woo! Come over here, Mr. Horsey Horse. That's a tree, buddy. Yeah, I had that issue too. He doesn't take any damage from it though. I do, obviously. Poor tree, man. Oh, what? Fire? I'm getting wrecked by fire. Hey, uh, I'm not really, uh, sure if I'm gonna be able to do it this attempt, though. I, uh, don't really have a lot of food anymore. Even though I've been trying my best, it's been a sloppy, sloppy attempt at best. Just eat me, let me eat a snail real quick. Oh, okay. Nah, I didn't really do a very good job there. I think I could do it way better. Use special arrows? I don't have special arrows. I could actually mount it there, though. I'm not sure what that happens. Like, he uh, he, he got right next to me, and I had the button to, uh, to do that, but I didn't realize it. I cut- I had a button to mount it. Uh -huh. Which weapon do you think is best? I'm not sure. Come over here, buddy. I do have different gear still, yeah, I do. Can I equip gear right now, too? Uh, can I just switch gear right now? I do have this thing. That's gonna give me a lot more. I'm not sure if that's really gonna make much of a difference, but... Oh my god. I derped out there. I pressed my Dark Souls button. That was not the button I was supposed to press. When in panic, press the Dark Souls button, Loka. That's definitely gonna work. I know I don't need to kill him, guys. I know I, <laughs> I see people repeating it over and over again. I know I don't need to kill him. I know I don't need to. He's got a lot of hit points, guys. I don't. How was that fair, though? Right? How does that make any sense? Did you see that one? All right. He's got 2,000 hit points. Damn. Can I mount him? I want to mount him. Okay. 
Du, 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 du. It gave me an option to mount him earlier, but I was right behind him right now and I tried and it didn't work. I don't actually know if this is much better though. It seemed to take just as much damage, but. I thought I was gonna get hit there, instead I got a flurry. I don't know how that works. Smash him! Smash him! Keep smashing him! Link! Smash him like he's Becky! Just pretend you're Ron! Or Ben. Whoever. Come here for here, Mr. Horsey Man! Oh, alright. I thought I got the burrow off, or the, the whatever it's called. Maybe I did get burrow off, actually. I didn't mean that, but... For some reason, it doesn't seem very responsive from time to time. Maybe that's me. Probably. Hey, man. Oh. My weapon broke. Like, for example, right there. I'm not sure if that's to do with whenever I, like, open my inventory. Or when I switch my weapons or something. But it's less responsive in those scenarios. Oh, only after you stagger him can you mount him. Ah. Listen. Yo, what's going on, Lord Random? Thank you for the five year donation. I should praise the sun more. That's a good point, yes. Hey, by the way, I'm only gonna be uh, trying for about. Oh, God. What am I doing now? Get that thing away from me. Oh, God. Loco, no, don't crouch. <laughs> I'm only gonna be up for about another 10 minutes. So I, I hope I can get this thing down. I hope so. Let's focus. Let's focus. We got this. Alright. That should be this first weapon broken. So okay. I switch weapon. Okay, now he starts doing his other trick. Come on, Mr. Horse. Too early there. Too late there. Come on, dude. I do the same thing every time, but for some reason, half the time it works, the other half it doesn't. I, yeah, so that's the thing. I don't want to use a weapon if it's two-handed, but I, I don't have another weapon. Well, I've got a couple other, like, lances, but it's not enough. I need to use this sword either way if I want to kill him. Loco need a hint video? No, no, no. Alright. Use the leaf. <laughs> the leaf is an excellent weapon. Almost as good as the bow. Oh god, so I'm getting hit there for sure. Yeah. You cannot do it sucks so much though. Why is that a thing? If you if you can switch weapon while pausing the game, why does it throw down your shield when you do so? That's so silly. I don't get that. I mean, obviously, I should not be switching, right? But you, you can't really say. I mean, I switch weapon because I don't know if he's going to attack, right? Maybe I should just do it when he's, like, going to run backwards. But then I can't hit a flurry. Yeah, you lose targeting, exactly. But even when you hold down the button, though... Yo, wanna be horse? Oh, he didn't like that. 
He didn't like that, eh? He got pissed off. He's like a weird horse. Hybrid. Man sort of thing. Come over here. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come over here. Yeah, we're making progress. We're making progress. Learning by failing. Oh god. Should have not stopped uh, jumping there. I took a short little break. Can I get an apple? Let's eat an apple. Wow. What about, what about this one? Where's my shield? Why is my shield not out? How is my shield not out? Is this a two-handed weapon? Maybe it is, I'm not sure. Nobody knows. Good thing I ate. Spear is also a two-hander? Dude, all my weapons are two-handers. Yeah, so I, uh, I've... <sighs> okay. Loki, you're not gonna beat him at this level? What? Of course I am. We're just working on it, man. If I'm really struggling, I can always just uh, not kill him and just do the quest objective. But I can do it. I know a lot of people get very frustrated when they make mistakes in games, but I kind of enjoy the struggle. Does that sound strange? I, I enjoy failing like this, because the eventual reward is way better. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I'm such a big fan of Dark Souls and Bloodborne. this. <laughs> I haven't done that before, eh? I think I did a good job there, but not sure why it didn't work. Come over here, horsey man. If you do it too early, he hits you as well. Yeah. If you do it too late, obviously, he hits you too. So if you hit, if you jump too early, he basically retargets us, or, or like he, he goes in the other direction. Come on, Link, stop being a pussy. There you go. Woo hoo hoo! Well, get wrecked, mate. I should eat. I should eat. <sighs> Fun times. <laughs> well, at least I ate, otherwise I would have been dead. Yo, thanks for the sub. Why is my, why is my, my weapon not out? Come on. Sometimes he unequips his weapon for random reasons. Not sure exactly why that is. That's a lot of damage, though. Hey, buddy, come over here. Crouching. Whoa, whoa. 
Stop crouching, Link! Stop crouching, Link! Oh god. What? Oh, come on! Now he one-shots me because my weapon breaks? If your weapon breaks, Link is like, oh, oh, I got a sword? Oh, the sword broke. Well, let me put away my shield too. It's like, why, why would you do that? Why would you put your shield away too? Ah. Uh. Oh, it was my shield that broke at the end? Oh, I thought it was my weapon. <laughs> I was holding a boomerang, guys. Boomerangs are not two-handed weapons. All right, well, hey, progress. I think this is gonna be my last attempt for today. Otherwise, we'll get him down next time, pinky promise. Look at my weapon, not existing. Oh, I wasn't at full hit points either. Ah, oh, man, okay, so those are mistakes by me, obviously. <laughs> That might be an easier way of killing him, to be honest. I'm not sure about it, though. I think this should work. I just need to get good. So now I can't get a parry. Because I don't have a weapon. Can you do it right now? Can I switch right now and still get parry? Whoa, you can? Oh, that's sick. So I was, like, trying to rapidly change so I could, like, get parry off. Okay, that sucked. Oh. Oh. oh, sick. Didn't realize you could get a flurry with uh, without a weapon equipped. That's pretty sick. Yeah, you run away, you pussy. Why am I not surprised? Of course, Link was crouching again. Don't know why Crouch is on the same button as, like, everything else, but fair enough. I can't tell if I'm crouching, man. It sucks. Like, you have to pay attention to whether or not he's crouching, but it's hard to see. Yeah, this is derp. Alright, alright, alright. In your butt. Listen. Yo, Specklefrex. Thank you for the 20 euro donation. He says sellout bar sati or satiated. Damn, that's a beautiful word. Thank you very much, Specklefrex, for the 20 euro donation and to fill up the donation goal in the bottom right hand corner. Thank you. If I could see some hearts in the chat, that'd be awesome. I'm glad you're here to join me on my mistakes. Thank you, sir. Thank you for rewarding my failure. Whoa, you can backpedal that one? Ooh. I didn't realize that part. Whoa. I've gotten pretty good at the, like, the, the forward swing things, though, right? I've gotten pretty decent at that one. Whoa. I am getting hit. Oh, I didn't. Normally, I got hit there every time. Uh! Get him. Imagine this is just his first health bar, guys. After this, he, like, levels up. He's like a Power Ranger. <laughs> this isn't even my final form. That would be sick, actually. This game would get, like, five more points if that's the case. It's like Ornstein and Smog all over again. It's a good fight though, because it teaches me to like become decent at this game. Listen. Come on. Yo, thank you. Damn. Another big donation. Oh god, I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Oh, I missed the flurry now though because of it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Hey, thank you, not Putin, for the 20 euro donation as well. That's insane. Thank you, guys. 
Thank you guys for the generosity. Ah, I'm starting to feel though, guys. I'm starting to feel. I've been playing for a really long time. This is usually what happens. Okay, focus, Loco. Focus. Thank you guys so much, though. I do appreciate it. Come on! Come on! Am I at full hit points? I am. <laughs> Think it's gonna break. Come on! Whoa, what was that? Do I have to worry about the fire? Last attempt of the day. Woo! Sit down! Lionel's sword! This Lionel made sword was designed with smashing in mind rather than slicing. Well, I certainly noticed that. It is on the heavy side compared to what Hylians are used to, but it's very strong. Ah, that is how you finish a live stream. Lionel's hoof. This rare ingredient can be obtained only from a Lionel's foot. It's larger and heavier than a horse hoof. It's used for making elixirs, but may have uses beyond that. Lionel's horn. This Lionel, or the Lionel this horn once grew uh, upon, surely misses it. It's exceptionally hard, so hard that most blades cannot scratch it. Throw it into a stew with critters to make elixirs. You know what this means, right? I gotta steal this well. You know what this means, right? The way that it is all worded... I'm gonna be facing off against a lot more of these guys. <laughs> this is just the first of them. These are probably just gonna be regular enemies by the end of the game. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm gonna save, man. I'm gonna save. I don't wanna, like, risk it. But, um, I can imagine there's probably gonna be stronger ones as well and whatnot later. That's usually what happens in these kind of games. Like, hey, remember that guy you were struggling against? Yeah, he was just a test. Everything else is now gonna be just as hard as that guy. Although, obviously, at the time, you're gonna have much better weapons and stuff as well. Oh, do I have enough shock arrows, though? Guys, do I have enough shock arrows? I'm looking at this. And, uh, I've got 12. Uh... Are there, are there any, any arrows on, like, the things that I was supposed to, like, do? Ah, they're on the trees. Aha. Alright, that's where we will continue onwards next time we play. But, man, I'm excited. Whoa, 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 Link. Put away the, put away the gun. I am excited that we managed to complete the objective that I set out to.